All right, guys, so as a small business owner, taxes are one of those things that can be a little bit scary, a little bit intimidating, and let's be honest, taxes are something that most people just aren't that familiar with, and knowing what you can do to limit your tax exposure can be a little bit daunting as well because maybe you don't know what all the tax deductions are that you're allowed to take as a small business owner. So I wanted to make this video to share a few of the top things my accountant told me about, and they're just the tip of the iceberg as far as deduction goes. So let's get into it. Um, but after you watch this video, please check out the only link in the description below to our new resource page. It has everything that we have to offer, all the courses, all of our assets, and a few freebies as well uh, that can really help your business grow. So check that out. And as you are about to find out, everything on that page is tax deductible. So what is a tax deduction? Tax deductions or write-offs directly impact how much you pay in taxes every year. When you file your taxes, you report all of your deductions, which are then subtracted from your gross revenue. What's left after that are your taxable profits, which is what you pay taxes on. So the more deductions that you have, the less taxes that you're going to pay. And that's why write-offs are so important for small business owners like us. So the big question is, what can you write off? Well, one of the first things that you can write off is all of your marketing expenses. Yep, you heard me right, all of your marketing expenses. Uncle Sam allows you to deduct any expenses that are used to generate or keep customers. So that means that all of your advertising, all of your marketing, all of those expenses qualify as an ordinary, reasonable, and necessary tax deduction. So let's talk about the most common marketing expense deductions. First is your website. Uh, we all know how important a website is because it's your company's face on the old interweb. And guess what? It's a write-off. Not only the design and the build-out, but the monthly hosting fees and any third-party content creation that you might use. The next are expenses like SEO services and any kind of subscriptions for like your email marketing platforms like Constant Contact is what I use or MailChimp, there's a bunch of them. Um, also, any kind of graphic design or other printed marketing materials that you use. Basically, anything you use to get or retain your customers. A perfect example would be something like the Roof Washing Visual Marketing Package or the GMB 100 Pick Pack of the before and after pictures and they're both 100% tax deductible. Do you get what that means? You buy something for 100 and then you get to take that 100 directly off your taxable income. So it's kind of like you're never paying for it. Uh, let's not forget about your ad spend on Google or your Facebook ads or anywhere else that you're advertising. These things are all things that you can write off. Another one that you might not know about is any of the software that you use to run your business, like your CRM or Responsibid, even your scheduling software. These monthly fees or subscriptions are also legit tax write-offs because these things are essential in running your business. Paid subscriptions like a LinkedIn Pro account or a subscription to the Inner Circle are also included in this. So don't forget to write all of those things off. Next, let's think about branding, like your truck wraps, your signs on your trailer, your uniforms, uh, even bandit signs. Yeah, bandit signs are considered advertising and they can be deducted. These are just a few of the things that people don't even think about, but you need to take advantage of every deduction possible. So reducing your taxable income is essential and it's legal and it's your right to do so. So don't miss out on these deductions. Last and probably the most important thing that you can deduct is any kind of educational training that you do for your business. You're allowed to deduct expenses for education that maintains or improves your skills in your present line of work, even when that education isn't mandatory. So example, Examples of this are like online courses, seminars, webinars, conferences that relate to your field. Basically any education or knowledge-based learning curriculum that has a direct impact on your business. So obviously I'm not an accountant, but I do have a really good accountant and you should check with your own to learn what tax deductions are right for your business. And don't forget to keep really good records of all your expenses throughout the year so you can get every deduction that you have coming. And in case you need to provide any of your paperwork when your taxes are being prepared. I know that a lot of guys try to do their own taxes or you take it to like the H&R block down the road or whatever. But if you're running a legitimate business, you need a legitimate accountant who can guide you in the right direction. And yet yeah, you're gonna have to pay a little bit for a professional accountant, somebody that does this for a living and knows your business. But guess what? it's tax deductible. So if you want more information about which marketing and advertising expenses you can deduct are, uh, consult your accountant or Google IRS publication 535. And don't forget to check out the resource page that is full of tax deductible expenses that will definitely help your business grow. I hope that this video helped and shed some light on some of the deductions that you can take. Uh, and don't miss those. I really hope that you uh, are able to reduce your tax liability so you can hold on to more of your hard-earned money. But more importantly, I hope you have a great day.